Hi, my name is Alusan Barry. Welcome to this lesson. Uh, today we are going to learn how to solve problems on graphs. Uh, the, and the reason why I really want us to um, tackle this topic is because graphs appear so often in the WASC exams for mathematics. And this is true for both um, further mathematics, that's elective mathematics, and also for general mathematics, right? So for many people have struggled with uh, maths. So even if you can just tackle, master this subject that often comes as a full question, you have an opportunity to improve your grade to a very good extent and have your credits in mathematics. And I'm sure that's all what we want, okay? Of course, plus having good math skills. Um, so, if you haven't seen the video or uh, I did on functions, please go back there into my channel and look for the video on functions. Because what really we say, this saying graphs can actually be misleading, right? Because what we actually do in questions involving graphs like these ones, this actually past question on maths, is to graph functions, right? So what it's actually so the, what we do is actually graphing functions. We graph functions. Now you want to ask, like I said, if you haven't, if you don't know what a function is, go to the previous video I did on functions. Um, just simply to help you have an idea, in case you haven't, um, imagine a function like a machine, basically, right? Say so. This is a machine. It has some, you put something inside and then you have something that happens. The function is the machine in there. You have different parts that work together. They do like some weird things. But once those weird things are all done, you end up having something out here. So you, you might think of it as you have an input. That's something that comes into the machine. And when it comes into the machine, something goes like bzzz, and then bloop it spits something out and that is your output okay so if you think about a function like this it really helps so imagine now say a function a function can we have different types of functions right so a function can be um, linear straight lines it can be um, what we can be quadratic function can be linear can be quadratic it can be exponential this one doesn't appear so much in the questions for graphs. Um, so linear, quadratic, we have, uh, it can be logarithmic. Logarithms. So we graph those functions, especially if you uh, studying chemistry also ex um, meet up these graphs a lot. They are not difficult at all. Um, linear, quadratic, exponential. We also have trigonometric functions. trigonometric functions I O N S right so they appear in these forms but the ones you often see in uh, maths appearing in questions frequently uh, they are often a combination of linear and quadratic um, trigonometric functions these ones are the most common ones you see with this question types of questions okay so now let's now that we clear the idea we now have okay so let's take an example of a linear function just to show you this idea that a function if you think of a function like a machine it's easy say we have a function uh, this function is named y but it is actually a function in x that's why it's called f of x so this function is in x is defined as say 2x minus 1. So to get the values of y, what we always have to do is to multiply x values by 2 and we deduct 1. Right? This is the behavior of this function. So now when, so let us assume what will be the value of y, right? When x is say 2. When x is 2, when x is 2, y will be now the image of x so f of 2 the image of x of the image of 2 because x is 2 in this case so this will be equal to 2 we take the function so anywhere we see x we just put the value 2 there minus 1 right so this will be equal to so now let us multiply out this bracket 2 times 2 gives us 4 4 and we deduct 1 so 
4 minus 1 is 3. So when x, let me change uh, the color, when x is 2, y is 3. Okay? So this is what happens. So it's imagine almost like we are putting, so what comes into the machine here are only x values. So these values can be many, many different values. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be minus 1, it can be minus 5, it can be, in, as in this case, it can be 2, as we said. But when we put these values of x into the machine, when we put these different values, oops, sorry, what happened there? Um, when we put these values of x in, into the machine here, what comes out is the value of y. So here we have values of x, but when we put them into the machine, we have values of y. Okay? So now, when we put the value 2, which is x, the value of x, which is 2 in the machine, we ended up seeing that we got 3 as the output. So 3 is what comes out here. Similarly, if we put another value, say 1, into the function, we'll just do the similar thing. We say anywhere we see x, we put 1 there now. Because now when x is equal to 1 is what we are finding. So we'll end up having 2 times 2, 2 times 1, which is just 2 minus 1. So that value will be 1. So these values uh, um, of y are called the images of x. right? So here we call this the domain. And over here the co-domain. These are some simple terms you need to be aware of when dealing with uh, functions. Like I said, I, I dealt with it more in the um, functions um, lesson. So if you have any issues, please go back there and check. But this is what functions are. Functions are simply a relationship between two variables. Right? So imagine, for example, um, and often they, they come from real life. Okay? Say maybe you have, you want to, like a farmer who grows um, yams. To know the value, the number of yams he can produce, he has to maybe say the value, the number of yams he produces depends on the number of hours he works on the farm. So we can say the number of yams is y, yams. And the number of x is the number of hours spent on farm. So we can dis use this function to describe how much yams he can get for different hours he spends on the farm. If he spends um, two hours, he will get three yams. If he spends one hour, he will get one yam. Maybe for a, try putting other values of x, which are the number of hours he can spend on his farm. Right. So this is a very detailed overview of um, what functions are. If you have any issues, please go back into the full functions video where we deal with other examples of functions. Okay? Uh, we are going to move on now to try and solve this first question on graphs. So, um, all right. So, see you in the next part of this lesson where we actually solve this problem. Thank you.